people don't understand, like I mentioned, when you arouse yourself with these things, you're opening yourself up to a whole nother world that people don't understand. And as you mentioned, the people, the musicians playing with the Ouija board, people don't know what these people are doing behind the scenes. There's a reason these, these, uh, these women and these people are screaming in the crowd for them. They're utilizing, many people are utilizing the assistance of the jinn to assist them in their performances and everything. People don't realize these things. This is a whole nother reality, especially many of the Muslims are very ignorant towards this fact. They don't understand that this is a whole nother element. It's just not something that's, you know, friendly and things like this. No, you are inviting these things into your home on a deeper level. As some scholars refer to music, they refer to it as the Quran of Shaitan, Satan's Quran. And it goes into the heart and it occupies the heart. And when it occupies the heart, there's no room for the Quran of Allah. That's the reality. It squeezes it out. When I was a non-Muslim, I used to play various instruments. I can tell you that it literally felt like I was under possession. I would do things that I was not able to do. I would play things that I was not able to play normally. This is a dollar bill, which is the uh, now devalued dollar bill. And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called. It's their seal. Now behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid with one eye. Now the one eye is the sun god Ray, which is where we get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun god, same Mithraic character, and he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. Thirteen five-pointed stars, and when you draw lines between them, you'll draw a six-pointed star. If the hexagonal star is lifted out and placed over the image of the pyramid, its points indicate specific letters in the Latin inscription surrounding it, which are thought to be an anagram. Inside the American Dictionary is the word anagram, which is the intentional scrambling of the letters of a word to conceal the real word. So if you re-scramble, you get masons. This is how we know that the masons originated the drawings for the Great Seal of the United States. This search for concealed meanings in the iconography is not confined to the imagery alone. It is claimed that the number 13, the most ominous number in Western tradition, is hidden throughout the symbols on the one dollar bill. They point out the repetition of the symbolic number 13. There are 13 leaves on the olive branch in the eagle's right claw. 13 arrows in the left claw. 13 stars above the eagle's head and 13 bars and stripes on the shield. Count the feathers. You'll notice that there are 32 feathers on the bird's left wing and 33 on his right wing. This is understood to refer to the 33 degrees of masonry introduced by the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite, America's most prominent Masonic order, whose national HQ is in Washington. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuetta Chapters, he is pleased with our project. 
In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. To completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project, and that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new secular or worldly order. I believe in Illuminati. There is a certain level that you get at that you can't go no further unless you're aware of certain things. And I, I, I'll leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain level that you get at, to get to that there's a door that you have to walk through. And it's on you to walk through that door. And once you walk through that door, it's no problem. If, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're gonna do a lot to, to, to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like you're gonna end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere. Like that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people like forsake their, their, their moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame. And it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not worth it. I swear to Lucifer, I swear to Lucifer. Thank <laughs> you.